get more details. Amit Chandra, uh, research analyst from HDFC is with us. Uh, Amit, what's your first reaction? 8,130 crores in terms of profit number and 38,000 crore plus in terms of revenue numbers. Yeah, so seeing the headline numbers, uh, numbers largely seems in line to our estimate. The revenues are in line, but the profits are mostly on the higher side of the street estimates and also like you know, what we're expecting. So, uh, you know, as Infosys has uh, you know, uh, just uh, like just uh, you know, decayed results, so there we are seeing some kind of margin pressure. So here in TCS, you know, uh, has been able to maintain the margins like pretty well as compared to Infosys. So the impact of uh, you know, the higher cost of localization, the you know, uh, the U.S. supply crunch that we are seeing in the U.S. So that seems, you know. Uh, not to impact the margins of TCS. We have just weighed that, you know, what exactly are the margins, but overall I'm saying for TCS. Right. Uh, so what was your EBIT estimate? I'll give you the EBIT number. So EBIT uh, was, uh, you know, 25.1%. Uh, can, uh, can you just tell me that in the absolute amount as well? Yes, yeah, 9,514 crores. 9,000? Okay, I think that uh, I'm doing some wrong calculation. But uh, 9,500 is broadly, I think, what they have delivered. Uh, so, it's, assuming it's 9,500, I'll get back to the exact details. Uh, what is the number that uh, you would think that 9,500 shows? Yeah, so it's 25.1% EBIT margin. Yeah, 9,538 is the EBIT margin. Uh, is okay. the EBIT number, sorry. Okay, so it's so, mostly in line with what we're expecting. Right, so uh, when I look at the margin number, it's 25.09. Okay, you can give that benefit of the doubt, 25.1. Mm -hmm. Harit Shah is also with us. Harit, EBIT at 25. Chandra is also still with us and listening patiently to Harit. Uh, Amit, you know, let's come to you. We have all the details, 25.1% in terms of EBIT margins. Uh, the commentary from the management is looking strong and they are quite confident with the exit rate being high. Uh, what would you make of these numbers? Uh, what sort of uh, analyst estimates do you expect to change? Of course, subject to change if anything changes in the commentary. Yeah, so you know, it's very clear that the large deal wins and the execution capabilities of KCS are much better. You know, and it is actually visible in the terms of you know, the kind of you know, kind of uh, margins that they are demonstrating, the kind of attrition that they operate at. So the attrition numbers are very like you know like very critical. So. At 11.3% attrition, you know, it's, uh, and they're actually able to maintain that as compared to the attrition which is inching up for Infosys. So maintaining the uh, you know, EBIT margin in a scenario of uh, you know, higher attrition and higher uh, you know, uh, win is, is actually difficult. So in TCS, they have been able to uh, you know, accelerate the wins. So the, you know, the wins in the last three quarters have been like you know, phenomenally well. And, uh, you know, there in an environment, uh, you know, which is actually, you know, in terms of BFSI, in terms of North American uh, BFSI, you know, the other players are facing headwinds, but in case of TCS, they have been actually able to pull it out pretty well. So we are actually pretty confident on TCS that in FI20, they will be able to easily do, you know, a double digit growth rate. And uh, in terms of margins also, they will be able to maintain margins. So TCS becomes the most, uh, you know, preferred pick. Yeah. Right, TCS becomes the most preferred pick. But when you talk about valuations, does that factor in? Yeah, so, you know, you know uh, the fact that I just mentioned, so you know, these factors are actually visible in the valuation. So, anyways, uh, you, know, uh, at, you know, at these valuations, you know, where we, where we have the comfort of uh, you know, uh, future growth and uh, you know, margin, I will stick to that. Right, uh, Amit, you know, when you now look at, uh, you know, TCS, plus Infosys in terms of numbers that they have delivered. What is the sense that you get? Yes, so in terms of, you uh, know, the, uh, there has been, uh, you know, catch up uh, in terms of growth from Infosys. So Infosys has been able to catch up, uh, you know, the top line growth numbers uh, in the last two quarters, but the margin differential has increased. You know, in case of Infosys and TCS. So Infosys is actually sacrificing margins and they're investing in sales and they're inching up their you know, on-site, on-site presence, the localization, and that is impacting their margins. So, but in case of TCS, we you know, like we're not seeing that happening in TCS. So the internal functions are so robust and they have been able to maintain their operating margins at 25, 26% levels. 
so that is like you know highly uh, respectable in terms of you know what they have actually shown up for pcs and also in terms of the overall performance so they uh, their performance in bfsi the performance in retail cpg and all has been has been you know uh, 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 has been has been better as compared to infosys right just like uh, harit shah as well as amit chandra as well are also with us amit uh, the management will start to speak uh, can you just broadly tell us i mean they don't give a quantitative guidance like uh, infosys but what to year out for what to year out for in terms of margins the way ahead How, what what essentially the street would take a cue from yeah, so you know uh, as as you mentioned that the government doesn't provide any guidance yeah but uh, any sense on you uh, know uh, uh, any sense on the uh, the continuation of the large deals that they have been winning the last three quarters so how do this how do this see the scenario in the you know second half of the year because we have been selectively hearing that second half we can see some kind of slowdown in the larger geography that is us so some kind of sense there would be very helpful to actually you know uh, to actually decide whether you know how fi 21 or fi you know second or fi 20 will pan out and also any any comfort in terms of maintaining the epic margin range in you know 25 25 to 26% because you know like clearly in the case of infosys and tcs if you will see you know the you know the large deal wins for you know both infosys and tcs has been like pretty strong but in case of tcs they have been able to maintain the margins if if you see like yoy also they you know the uh, foreign margins yoy for tcs were on you know, only around 40 bits but in case of infosys around 300 bits so let's see really infosys is sacrificing you know their their you know and this uh, margins for growth so in like in the case of tcs any comfort on uh, you know margins if they maintain at these levels also we will be happy Amit, thanks so much for taking our time for us. Harit, always good to get perspective from you.